This is a short film about DMR radio, amateur radio on 70 centimeters, our GB7GT, which is unconnected to any other repeaters worldwide at the moment, and is located on the nearly on the top of Clee Hill in Shropshire, which is about 15 kilometers away from here in Bewdley. This is my collection of <coughs> DMR radios, which I can give some demonstrations of and working through the Clee Hill repeater. Uh, we have, first of all, the basic DP3400. DP3400, which is a 32 channel capability uh, transceiver of 4 watts and can be switched down to lower power. Volume and uh, channel change only. SMA plug in aerial. To, which can get to the outside world via an SMA uh, adapter. There is no digital readout display. These sell for about 100, 125 pounds each, and sometimes come with a charger, which is a basic charger like that, stand charger. But you'll pay a lot more money for the six-way charger. Now, <coughs> the posh model of those is the DP3600 which is this radio here and oh, let's pick that up there let's see that says uh, GB7GT local G eight EPR test Golf 8 Echo Papa radio test the GT only And I also have the analog channel in there. You saw it scanned to analog from the local digital channel on Tone Group 9. These have a digital readout, so of course when they're transmitted and received, <coughs> your D mark uh, call sign, of which I'm lucky enough to have 2351235, two, will appear in the LCD readout windows of other radios that may receive it. And one of those radios is an SL4000, and that is an SL4000, which is 1800 milliamp hour, three and a half volt battery into that super duper aerial that's there, and it really is a super duper aerial. They work on two watts. Uh, there we go. G8 EPR test only through GB7GT. And uh, that is coming back on a DM3400 32 channel transceiver which uh, sits in the middle there and that at the moment is just run off a temporary collinear that's run, run into the back of the garden there for test purposes only. The SL4000 transceiver which uh, has the blue and white display uh, readout on it Sorry for the shakes, etc, etc, and you can change channels by walking down the button there. Go back up to GT local, 1000 channel capability, the same as the DP3600, which has a 1000 channel capability, <coughs> and LCD readout of uh, call signs and uh, 235 numbers, 235 designating UK, etc, etc. Different numbers at the start designating different countries of the world. GB7GT operates on 439.4125 output, 4430.4125 input and 9 meg down split or up split, whichever way you look at it. So that is the posh 2 watt transceiver which works exceedingly well as you can see TG9 local comes up on it and if anybody was to call back their call sign would come through on the window <coughs> then we go on to the upgrade transceiver of the DP3400 this is the DP4400 which is identical but lighter and um, slightly smaller, very slightly smaller than the DP3400. Unfortunately, it does not have an SMA aerial output, 
so you cannot get to the outside world with this it is just purely a bolt in a screw in aerial no doubt you can make something there to uh, get to the outside world and uh, that is scanning away at the moment which hence the light is scanning on that one this light is scanning on that one as well and uh, using the other DP3400 here, G8 EPR test, just turn up the mod modular volume a bit, G8 EPR, Golf 8 Echo, Pop R radio test only. <coughs> so there we have the range of transceivers uh, that's currently uh, in use here in Beaudley at the Pine Radio Telephone Museum of G8 EPR. <coughs> the DP4400 will probably put you back about 150 or maybe even up to 200 quid each. Uh, they use the same charger as the DP3400, impressed chargers and the impressed batteries. That one's got a very light uh, um, battery, if I can just show the difference in the thinness between that rig and uh, that one. The NICAD batteries on the right and the impressed batteries on the left. Uh, and there you go, we were now waiting in Birmingham for other repeaters to come on the air and uh, I have those uh, set up in the uh, memories of uh, this transceiver I can uh, switch scan on and this one actually has set well, um, audio, audio tones on it Also tell you the zone that you change to, etc. Et so uh, switching through my zones there, GB uh, some PMR FW and BX, which are yet to come on in Birmingham. GB7 FW five ways in the centre of Birmingham. GB7 BX out at uh, Much Wenlock, up to the, towards the north of Shropshire. We'll cover that area and GB7 GT when connected to the uh, system will be <coughs> networked from Clee Hill and has amazing coverage, amazing coverage. Uh, GB7 HM I can work through that on my uh, DM3400 but not from this position here with this low down aerial. So that's 72 miles away, 72 miles away to the north and uh, get some very good uh, American contacts and worldwide contacts through that uh, repeater. So this is GADPR, Golf 8 Echo Papa Radio testing and uh, DMR demonstration test. GADPR listening through GB7 GTT for a call. Just see if anybody wants to come back. Doubt it very much as GT is not connected to the network at the moment it's always worth a, a try of calling through and as you can see that one is now scanning away the uh, SL4000 very very nice transceiver very very pleased with that those might set you back between 200 and 400 quid each but uh, absolutely ideal for walking around uh, places and making it look like an ordinary uh, cell phone radio that you can use and the aerial efficiency of that little stub is amazing I can tell you that no problem around the garden here We're getting into uh, GT or G ADP PR test another one hanging up here at the moment just to uh, show it uh, working This is Dave Hicks, Jody PR, reporting for the Pine Radio Telephone Museum of Beaudley in Worcestershire.